How's it going everybody? Dr. Coin back at it again and welcome to the Coin Cave. In today's episode we have a one dollar loony hunt for you guys. Now I've been going just crazy looking for the new 2020 colored loony, but I went and I picked myself up quite a few rolls. Unfortunately, this isn't a full box, but we do have mostly a full box here. I think we have almost $700 worth. And guys, we have an ender here that I am very excited about. Now this is not a loony. Some of you might already know what this is, but this right here is a 50 cent coin and it is actually 2017 i already know what it is and it is definitely nifc so this is actually worth a couple bucks right off the bat i'm very excited to get that out and be able to get a close look at it i will definitely save that for last because you know you got to save what's best for last but we have a bunch of machine wrapped rolls in here we have a whole lot of variation unfortunately some of them are ticked off i don't know if that means they've already been searched i mean if any of you guys have searched these rolls please let me know down in the comments but i am very excited for this hunt i'm very hopeful that maybe there will be one of these new 2020 colored loonies lying ahead in here but before i can break into this box i'd really appreciate it if you all would hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more coin roll hunting and coin collecting videos just like this also if you would like to purchase my mats the link will be in the description below and then what do you say we get loony with it guys let this hunt begin some progress unfortunately i forgot to pick myself up some extra rolls to rewrap these machine wrap rolls so it looks like i'm just chucking them back into the box but we have our first find here now i suggest that you guys be pretty stringent in terms of what you keep for loonies or else you would go broke pretty darn quick but this is in good condition and it is an nhl Toronto Maple Leafs Looney. I do hold on to these because they have a tiny tiny premium so one find for the board keep going alone just a couple rolls down and it looks like we might have gotten a really good find here guys i don't know if this is a proof or what is going on if it is uncirculated but the condition on this bad boy and the luster for this olympic loony right here 2006 has me thinking that something special about it or it's definitely in good enough shape for me to hold on to the nicest one of these i have found by far that is a really nice loony right there so another great find hopefully we can find a few more uh, a few more goodies like this up ahead even if they uh even if they aren't that new one i don't mind finding nice uh nice almost mint state loonies like this one right here so another one for the board a couple rolls down and i didn't tune you guys in for it but i did actually find yet another one of these right here and uh they are definitely in really good shape considering that this right here is the same one and just look how that one looks that is gross it has no luster on it so these right here are very beautiful i'm very glad i found those they have a little bit of sticky gooiness on the back of that one right there but it's all good but look what we just found another one of right here i'm going to try not to touch it too much because this is going to be the best shape one i have found so far in the wild look at the reverse on that right there now that is what i call a toronto maple leafs loony but beautiful so i will add this with the other one that we found right there and keep going along got ourselves another decent find here it's going to be a 2008 olympic loon look at that right there and these usually aren't in good shape when i find them so this is definitely a keeper Whoop, throw it up there just a little bit farther down we found something pretty cool here i don't think i'm actually going to hold on to it because this is a little bit higher mintage around 25 million so in terms of higher denominations i uh, i'm not really looking to hold on to stuff like this unless it is absolutely pristine and this one as you see is a little worn away but it's still a very nice loony i really like the designs on there and uh it's very cool but i think i'm just going to toss this back into the wild and keep going along 
Well guys, we have made it here to the end of this hunt. Like I said, I saved the best for last, so we have this really awesome ender, and who knows what else could be in this roll. I mean, if this made its way in there, who knows what other goodies could have made its way into this roll. But before I can start opening this bad boy up live for you guys, I would really appreciate if you all would hit that thumbs up one more time and subscribe for more content just like this. And then what do you say? We bust this bad boy open and see if we got just one 50 cent today, or a couple. Well, I only see one, and it looks like it's just on the end there. I don't know if someone put that there, maybe to mark that they have already searched this roll, but let's see here, let's get to it. Oh, that is nice, look at that. I have not seen a, uh, a 50 cent with this modern Queen Elizabeth head on there, so that is definitely very cool. And then look at that, guys, the 2017 150 years Canadian 50 cent piece. This is NIFC right here, and this is honestly probably worth more than any of these loonies we have found tonight. This is worth a couple bucks. I have not uh, found one of these yet or even bought one of them for my collection, so an awesome score. Um, I'm gonna go through the rest of this roll really quickly off camera, and then I will wrap this up for you guys, but a very sweet 50 cent piece in a $1 roll. Unfortunately, we did not strike ourselves that new colored loony today, but it is all good because we did find ourselves this beauty right here. You know, you don't find stuff like this when you're hunting loonies or really anything in Canada very often, NIFCs and stuff, so this is really cool. I mean, I knew I had it right off the bat because it was an ender, which is pretty strange, but I ain't gonna complain. This is worth at least a buck or two for sure, and it is just a very beautiful, nice NIFC Canadian 50 cent piece. The composition, I believe, is just steel, so it ain't silver or anything, but we got some nice other loonies here to add to our loony stack. Like I said, I only keep the ones that are almost mint state, or else I would not hold on to them. I would go broke, and I suggest for you guys, you only hold on to loonies if they are in very good condition, or you will be a very poor coin roll hunter. But that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Until the next one, peace out. And have a good one, y'all.